Hi, I'm Tan Weijian, the leader of MY125. First of all, I will talk about the problem statement of our project. Mr. Tan Sui Huat is the owner of the durian and palm oil field, and he faced the problem that the seeding leaf of his durian tree has become yellow, even though he has watering the seeding tree every morning and provide the fertilizing every month. So he decided to send some soil sample to the laboratory test to analyze the soil property in his field. However, the result of the laboratory analysis take about two to three months to be completed. The weakness of the laboratory analysis are it requires large amount of human energy during the soil sampling process and the result is inaccurate since the soil variability changes from time to time and the time take for the analysis is too long. So these are the solutions that we have proposed. We have developed a real-time and on-the-go soil nutrient analysis system by using the soil posima sensor. The real-time soil nutrient analysis system able to get the soil nutrient analysis data in a short period. The mobile platform and automated soil sample collecting system also has been used to save the human energy and time for the soil sampling task. The monitoring system used to monitoring the real-time analysis result and the GPS data was combined with the analysis data to form a fertility mapping to help the farmer in the fertilizing task. The mobile platform selected for our system are the ATV. This is because the ATV is stable and able to travel easily in the field compared to a tractor which require large operation space. And the ATV also able to carry the load with the medium weight. The sensor selected for our system is the ISE sensor. This is because the main objective of our project is to analyze the concentration of the micronutrient contained in the soil. This is the system configuration of our project. First, the soil sample collector will be mixed together with the water by using the mixer and the ISE sensor will analyze the concentration of the soil nutrient. The reason mix the soil sample collector together with the water is the ISE sensor can only do the measurement in the echo solution. Next, the soil nutrient data will be combined with the GPS data by using the Raspberry Pi and Arduino Uno controller and the data will be stored in the SD card and displayed by the monitoring system like LCD display, computer or handphone. After the analysis process has been completed, the soil mixture will be put back to the soil by using the soil collector actuator. This is the sensory setup of our project. From the figure, we can see that the sensory part having the LCD display, GPS tracker and two ISE sensor which are nitrate ISE and potassium ISE. This is the mechanical setup of our project. From the figure we can see that the sensory part, soil collecting actuator and the mixer are installed at the back of the ATV. The user interface of the system will real-time monitoring the soil nutrient concentration data, coordinate data and the battery level of both ISE sensor. The output data is in the CSV form and the fertility mapping can be formed by using the CSV file. And we also added the ledgers with four different colors to categorize the concentration level of the swine nutrient. We have fabricated and do the test run of our prototype in the UITN Jacin and the user feedback are the system is easy to carry, the GPS detection is accurate and the data collection is fast. For the target segment and impact of our project are the system or service developed are targeting to the farmer. Since the farmer population in the world are about 2 billion of people with 36.7%, we believe that the system developed will bring a lot of benefit to the agricultural sector. For the impact of our project, the value of the soil nutrient can be identified more quicker compared to the laboratory analysis and farmer can do the fertilizing task by depending on the fertility mapping. The fertility mapping helps to control the use of the fertilizer and this can minimize the waste of the fertilizer and prevent the degradation of the environment. Next, we proceed to the short demonstration video of our project.